can escape our fate. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're counting down our picks for the 10 best Jennifer Hale performances in video games. I love it. I love that it matters to people. I love that it did something great for them, that it made them happy, that they laughed or they had a good time or it had meaning for them or it helped them get through a rough patch in their life. Like, like what more can you ask for? For this list, we're going over the defining roles from the career of one of video games' most prolific and beloved voice actors. Hey, we had to give this industry queen her due at some point. Which of Jennifer Hale's characters still resonate with you? Let us know in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Kronika, Mortal Kombat 11. I'm Kronika, Keeper of Time. Well, if you're going to get someone to voice the most powerful being in the universe, you could do a lot worse than having Jennifer Hale channeling her inner regal. As the Keeper of Time, Kronika is naturally a tad upset that Raiden would tamper with the flow of events and essentially wreck the canon, and so sets about to establish a new equilibrium, with violent results. She's the strongest antagonist the franchise has seen to date, with Miss Hale able to bring about both her merciless and maternal sides to great effect. Shang Tsung souls will be mine. Ophelia, brutal legend. Hey look Eddie, I finally got myself a car. It's got a special seat in the back, just for you. Sharing the stage as an ally and loving tress to Jack Black's Eddie Riggs, Ophelia made for the best companion a roadie could ask for in a world of monsters and heavy metal. Sharp-tongued yet vulnerable due to the secrets she keeps, Jennifer Hale really gets to cue the scenery here as this fantasy world's ultimate punk girl. Even more so when she embraces evil and becomes the demonic creature known as Drowned Ophelia. Her performance is just one of the reasons fans are still screaming for a sequel all these years later. Ah, uh, don't run! I know where you live! I know. I'll be waiting for you in the deep end. Krem, Dragon Age Inquisition. Bar the six wounded, Chief. No dead. That's what I like to hear. The Bull's Chargers made for some of the most endearing side characters throughout Inquisition's grand campaign, and standing as their second in command was Chromisius Aklasi also known as Krem. With what limited time he's given on screen, Jennifer Hale ensures they shine. Not only as Bioware's first ever transgender character, but also as a soldier who can go toe to toe when it comes to the Iron Bull's banter and battle tactics. It's easy to see why so many didn't have the heart to sacrifice him and the other charges down the line just to earn an alliance with the Kunari. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big warships in action. Trishka Novak, Bulletstorm. Hope it was worth the wait. Wow, nicely done. Yeah. Half the fun of this FPS darling came from kicking psychotic gunmen into the air, only to riddle them with bullets a moment later in the flashiest way possible. The other half came from the banter of our mercenary trio, as they tried to make their way off a literal mad world. Though without a doubt, the funniest interactions came from Steve Bloom's Grey and Jennifer Hale's Trishka. Originally posed as a damsel in distress, Trishka quickly proved herself to be a wild card, who not only knew how to handle every kind of firearm, but also swore like a sailor. Honestly, every piece of her dialogue was a gem. I am wholly uninterested in whatever bullshit you people have to resolve. If either of you had a hand in the death of my father, I'll die happy knowing I took you both with me. Rosalind Lutes, Bioshock Infinite. Nothing beats the cage. He's still in there. How do Never mind. Perplexing, poised, and perpetually petty, Rosalind was one of the many mysteries dotted about the floating city of Columbia, along with her twin brother Robert. Given how the two of them tended to randomly appear and act as guides for Booker, in their own puzzling way, of course. Rosalind very much served as the more cynical of the duo, at least until we discovered the truth regarding her past via audio logs. For someone to maintain that keep calm and carry on mentality while constantly shifting between alternative dimensions is downright impressive. Or maybe that's just the power of Jennifer Hale's British accent. It transcends everything. So. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. Rivet. Ratchet and Clank. Rift apart. Hey, it's okay! See? 
just me. This Lombax from a parallel reality could have so easily been just a copy and paste character. Just a female version of Ratchet that made no impact whatsoever. And yet, through her budding friendship with Kit, own brand of heroism, and unique flaws, Jennifer Hale was able to craft Rivet into something all her own. Sassy, jaded, socially awkward, and a little bit of a softie, Rivet practically became the star of the game by the end, to the extent we would all be way too happy to see her branch out into her own series of spin-offs. Hey! Yes, um, hi! Um, I have Clank. Bayonetta. Bayonetta 3. Yes, and I'd prefer not to waste that time on your lectures. Putting aside the surrounding controversy, can we all just agree that Jennifer Hale's version of the gunslinging witch is awesome, plain and simple? The flirtatious nature, the passive aggressiveness, the rare moments of heartbreak, the fun she's having as she dispatches demons every step of the way. Right down to the inflections, her voice fits Bayonetta to a T. While it's unclear if we will ever see this iteration going forward given the franchise's new direction, it's good to know Miss Hale is more than up to the task of busting out the pistols and the high heels. I do hope you haven't forgotten my order. It's in the truck. Ready to go. Naomi Hunter, Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. Solid Snake has no shortage of allies and enemies to call his own each of whom serve as either an irreplaceable connection or a cautionary tale. Naomi walks a dubious middle line between both, originally posing as a sympathetic figure, but who secretly developed the fox die virus as a means to destroy Snake as vengeance for her brother. Jennifer Hale is able to beautifully switch between the noble doctor and the regretful would-be killer burdened by her choices. It says a lot when you can share screen time with the likes of Psycho Mantis and still make a colossal impact from dialogue alone. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Basta Lashan, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that at least. Everyone has their favourite Jedi, but for retro gamers everywhere, Bastila will always have our hearts. Whether you ultimately turn to the light or fall to the dark side, this ever so flawed companion is always there to help the player character through their tribulations, and potentially become a love interest should you decide to take the plunge. It's impossible to decide whether we prefer Bastila as the brash, impulsive Jedi Master, or the deliciously wicked apprentice of Darth Revan. Either way, Jennifer Hale brings it giving so much weight to the character that we will frankly riot if she doesn't return in the KOTOR remake. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realise your true potential and break free of their domination. Uh, Commander Shepard, Mass Effect series. Alright, sit tight little guy. Anybody gives you trouble, go for the eyes. We don't think we're exaggerating when we say that Jennifer Hale's portrayal of the now iconic intergalactic commander is nothing short of a tour de force. Affectionately known as Fem Shep by the fans, Shepard's mission to defeat the Reapers allowed for every kind of emotional turmoil, adorable interaction, and witty comeback imaginable. With the Paragon and Renegade systems allowing players to customise the attitude and actions of their particular Shepard in wholly contrasting ways, it would have been all too easy for one iteration of Shepard to fall flat compared to the other. And yet, Jennifer Hale delivered each line with such gravitas that she left us stunned on more than one occasion. That's our captain for you. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.